He crouched. Just can't handle it. No time to waste. I need to find out what's in that locker. The luggage lockers. They're on the other side of the station. I'm just not gonna make it. I... I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Line 18, box number 3. Made it. I made it. I managed to get through the goddamn crowd. A nightmare. The whole thing was just a fucking nightmare. Jason... Jason is dead. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. The locker number. It's on the ticket.
According to our sources, a child disappeared from the Stanton district yesterday evening. He was last seen playing in the park with his father. Full details are unknown, but following the disappearance of Jeremy Bowles, there is suspicion that this again may be the work of the origami killer. If confirmed, it will bring the number of victims to nine. Sean. Where are you? I'm so cold. Dad. Dad. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one?
The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. Blake, I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what are you caught, huh? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! What, well, you think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist, and I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. The walls are covered with writing. Quotations from the Bible. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. The guy's taking a break from reality, holed up here in this crazy apartment. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. It's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years.
Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Naaman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring Better just here. stand down and leave Blake to it. He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop. I guess Blake's understand? trying to break him, but what good is a confession if he does? Stop. Stop. That's enough. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? That's no! enough. Leave him alone. Stop. Stop. You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you going to confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall dispatch you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy Shoot, us. For Christ's sake. Shoot! I... I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. What's Blake What's looking for? It? Why is he pushing him over the he edge? He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs the guy is terrified of Blake. More. He really thinks he's the Antichrist or something. What's he doing? Why is he provoking him like that? You mention him. You'll bring him I here. gotta stop Blake. He's going too far. He told you to go I guess Blake's trying to break him, but what good is a confession if he does? All night long. You wanted to Better just stop. stand down and, and leave Nathaniel. Blake to it. Stop. Stop. I've got That's to do stop. something. Maybe so Blake knows him. what he's doing after him. all. You took that boy with Blake, you and you drowned what are you him. Doing? Isn't that right? Shit! Blake no. is to- That's enough! Stop. Leave him alone! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall dispatch you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy us. For Christ's sake, shoot! Drop the gun, now! Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. 
team. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Now gently put the gun down on the floor. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Back away, slowly. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Motherfucker! In the name of the Lord, I exorcise thee, Satan. Okay, freak, the show's over. You're under arrest. Pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. A gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. Maybe not, but most of the time it helps. Susan Bowles, mother of the origami killer's latest victim. Maybe she knows something about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Ah. Uh, goddamn wound still hurting me. Need to keep my nose clean for a while. Ah. Uh, asthma free for the moment and loving it. Good old inhaler in my pocket, just in case. Mrs. Bowles. Anybody home? Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Wait a minute. Hello, little cutie. Oh, you looking for your mama? Mrs. Bowles, Mrs. Bowles, are you there?
Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. I'll be right back. Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Okay, come on. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily, the wounds aren't too deep. Hey. My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Her name is Emily. Gotcha. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. Okay. How do you do this again? That's not the right way. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start again.
There you go, fresh new baby. <laughs> that should feel better. Right, Emily? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. Doesn't look ill. Of course. Now I know why you're crying, my little peachy poop. Mother Shelby to the rescue. Why is she crying? I'll ask Susan. She'll know what to do. Maybe she's hungry. I guess I better warm this thing up. Just tilt this ball a little bit so you don't choke. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. I'll rock it down a notch. kid. You're not done rocking, right? Hmm. Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. 
ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah, my mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself and Emma. I will, I promise. In a drawer in the living room. That's what Susan said. Stop thinking about that well. Sean seemed exhausted. But at least he's alive. I'll do anything to get him out of there. I should go talk to the garage guy over there. The parking lot ticket in the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I gonna find here? Excuse me? Hey! Oh! Ah! Sorry, didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? I'd like to get my car. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and checked the tires and batteries, just like you said. Have I been here before? Here. It's Don't the third floor it. down. The service elevator is at the far end of the garage. A car? Why am I be... Thanks. Ah, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Elevator at the back of the garage. Third floor. Got it. 
Elevator at the back of the garage. Third floor. Got it. Car's been here for two years. What does that mean? Dozens of cars, but which one am I looking for? Your destination is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. your destination. Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? Listen carefully. Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. If you haven't reached your destination in five minutes, I don't want to die. Not here. Not like this. Stop my hands shaking. I'm not going to make it. I'm I'm not gonna make it. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. If I succeed, I'll get more letters from the hangman. It's my only need. No turning back now. I've got to do it, for Sean's sake. I have no choice.
atmosphere here is one of concern, as there is still no news of 10-year-old Sean Mars, who disappeared yesterday. A recent report indicates that the police are now treating this as another kidnapping by the origami killer. If this information is confirmed, it may still be alive. These victims were all killed within five days after their abduction. Obviously, time is running out fast for the investigators Hello, trying to find the child. What can I do for you? I'd like a room. For you? Anything. <laughs> Feeling the register. Madison Page, 27, single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. The thought of it leaves me in a cold sweat. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. Some Sir? Are you all right? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. Got the key? You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. I should disinfect his cuts. Medicine. There's bound to be a medicine cabinet in the bathroom. Medicine. They... He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. I'll help him first and ask questions later.
Medicine. There's bound to be a medicine cabinet in the bathroom. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. I should disinfect his cuts. Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. Necofrin 100 antibiotics, administer to combat infection. I don't think he needs that. I should disinfect his cuts. I'm going to disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. Sorry. Are you okay? At least it won't get infected. Thanks. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. He's in a lot of pain. That'll help him. That's gotta help, right? Here. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. I can't afford to wait. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. I, I'm gonna take a shower. 